is Prometheus giving you another draft championship gameplay. You're going to be rolling with the Miami Dolphins playbook on offense and defense, in particular the single back Jumbo Z. I form type pair, gun doubles halfback weak, and gun ace offset. On defense, I'll be using a 43 over plus, 46 uh, under bear defense, also the nickel double A gap, and maybe I'll jump at the quarters too. Uh, last two games, uh, my, I had forced my opponents to quit out early, so maybe we'll be able to get a good game out of this third match in my first uh, ranked draft championship play, gameplay. All right, so I'm going to go against uh, the uh, ZJ Bro Chow Cho. Uh, he's got a lot of the same players. Actually, he's got Elway and Munoz, and I didn't see the last guy. Uh, so we'll see how this works out. Let's see what team he's using. He's got New England. So I've got my beloved Bears, uh, the 0-3 Bears at this time I'm recording this game. I'm kicking off, so I'm going to be getting the ball in the second half, so that gives me a little cushion in case uh, this guy is actually a fairly good player. So let's go ahead and kick off and see how things work out. All right, so able to go ahead and tackle him short of the 25-yard um, line. Base defense, let's just go ahead and see what kind of uh, thing he likes to run. I'm going to stay in cover four. does a little off stretch and nice run I don't know what was happening right there good good run defense wasn't there my guys weren't holding their blocks and yelled and eats me up on a big run right there so not a good way to go ahead and start the game So this guy's going to stay in a running game. I'm going to go into 46. Get the people in the gaps. There we go. So I got him down here in a short situation. Good play. Nice little cross he runs. It's going to stay in that single back ace offensive set right there. Did Y shallow and saw the read underneath. Didn't get the pressure off the edge because I think the block he running back was in the way. He came up short there with the halfback. And he got it in. Got it in. So this guy knows what he's doing. That's the reason why I had to wait a little bit longer. It took me about 40 seconds to get this this uh, game play. Um, this guy's no rookie. He knows what he's doing. So this is good. This is a good challenge. Oof. Should have probably stayed off the turbo right there. So got the ball up to 29 uh, with Cooks. Going to go into Jumbo Z. We're going to flip our tight end. Tight end flip. And come out in smash. Wow, uh, blocking was there, and then he didn't let it go. So he went into Overstorm Bray. So he blitzed in the first play. Uh, let's go into Gun, and okay, we're gonna flip our tight end, and we're just gonna do on, uh, on the zone play right here. There you go. So defense is tough. These guys are coming off the gaps. I'm in serious trouble. Let's go into halfback strong. We're going to go into fake rub. And missed the play right there. Went ahead and stretched up deep. He played really good defense right there. So Fourth and 15, um, I'm going to go ahead and punt. Uh, I'm, gonna give this, I'm not going to give this guy a short field. I'm not going to put him in scoring territory, so I'm going to go ahead and pump the ball. Um, and let's just go ahead. Hopefully that was a good kick. Not where I wanted it. 
There you go. So got him down on the 35 yard line. He came out in the ace formation, didn't change at all. So we're going to stay into our base blitz, which is going to be the linebacker dogs three, LB dogs three. Going with that stretch. That time I had some guys out there that go ahead and stop that stretch. And he almost broke a tackle right there, but he faked a run, so he's uh, he's going to try to be unpredictable. There you go. So fourth and nine. Good players will go for it. There you go. So he went for it. I'm able to go ahead and just fag him up, and he didn't get his reads good enough, and I was able to go ahead and get some pressure. So now I get the ball back uh, in his territory, clo close territory right there. So <sighs> that was good, good situation for me. So this guy's definitely a good challenge. He's a good player, smart player. You got to go for it in that type of situation uh, because you don't really want to get the ball back. But he did get me, get me in scoring territory, so that's going to hurt him a little bit. Let's see if I can get a run off the right. Nice. Oh, where's my block? Where's my block? My blocker was nowhere to be found, so he's shutting down my running game right now. There you go. So he committed right there. It looked like it was a man blitz. Nope. He actually stayed in the zone and he blitzed a couple guys right there. So that was a difference right there. That was a, it was a fairly good uh, decision to do that. So we're going to go back in a fullback dive. There you go. Fullback dive. He spreaded his guys out to probably stop the run. And because I had a nice inside run as my base play, I'm going to go ahead and get a tying touchdown right here. So... Good gameplay so far. A couple stops on defense um, and able to go ahead and keep this game rolling. All right, so able to go ahead and tackle him short of the 18-yard line. We're going to go ahead and go back into the LB Dogs 3 because he's been in that uh, ace formation. Let's see what he comes out of. He's coming out of a, just a standard run formation. And I didn't, I didn't anticipate the runoff to the right. So staying back in that stretch. So that stretch play is just killing me right now. I went to the other side with an inside zone. Almost got a good run, run angle right there. So look at that, seven yard, or seven carries for 114 yards. Big run right from the very beginning. It killed me. Good play right there. Able to get rid of the ball real quick on a man blitz. There you go. Oh, my defender should have fell in there and actually it, 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 it stealed that ball away from me. Threw right in the coverage. All right, so he went into his zone right there. And he's not hurrying up. I think he's trying to go ahead and take away the clock against me.
There you go. Nice sack right there to go ahead and get him in a fourth and long situation. Oh, God, I had him. I had a guy in the flat. He was able to go ahead and make a move right there. What a lucky break. This guy is just shiny with lucky breaks right there. Ah, right there. So, fourth and two situation. Smart play is to take the points. But I'm just smelling freaking idiot out of this guy. Uh, he's a gambler. He shouldn't freaking go for it. It's just stupid to go for it right here. And he didn't get a first down. That's stupid. That's just stupid. You take the points. You are stupid. God, he's stupid. I figured I'd just take a shot up there, um, Adam. So, so much for that uh, series right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the ball back against this guy. So I don't know what he was thinking. That was just bad play by actually going for it. Uh, just it wasn't smart for him to do that. So going into the second half, uh, he gave me, he took, he just threw away points. He should have took the points. It was just very dumb by him to do that. Let's see if he goes ahead. He doesn't do any kind of surprise crap, any inside kicks. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. Demps is not my better returner, so there's no reason to do that. I'm going to go ahead and stay back into the Jumble Z, uh, do halfback smash. I'm flip the play. And I'm just holding on to the turbo. That's why I'm not finding my holes. I was able to go good and pick up six yards on that right there. So a tight pair here. I'm going to come out in the fullback dive. Come on. I'm having a hard time hitting this uh, this play, play uh, power O. I'm having a real hard time hitting that. See if he fills up the gaps. Come on. Able to go ahead and break a few tackles. I actually got blown up. The edge blew me up, but I'm able to go ahead and get past his defenders to pick up a, a first down. So, a good play by his. He floated up to take away the deep read, and I saw guys down on the lower read, so that's why I stayed away from that read. He was in cover two, so that messed me up. So we're going to go into ace off set, and we're going to hit him with sail. There 
go. So if that sail route wide open just forces the, the defenders that can't actually take care of that slanting tight end in the backside, and that actually causes some problems right there. Back in a tight pair, and let's just keep hitting with a full back dive. There you go. So able to go and hit the hole to the uh, where the with the seal where the seal block was off the left hand side and be able to cut it in to pick up a good uh, six yards right there. I'm gonna go play action spot. Oof. Just got rid of that ball too early. There's a blitz. Is the outside linebacker strike two right there? So let's jump into uh, gun. Halfback week, we're going to go with the rub. So a little out route right there by Olsen to go ahead and pick it up. He actually came with another edge brush. It looked like it. Yep, he's going back to the OB strike two is his base defense. So he's not making many changes on his defense. He's not mixing it up. He's staying with the same stuff, uh, and that's what I'm anticipating. I had nice push. I just didn't like how the, how the pocket was developed with the run. I probably got to pick up some more yards if it ran right in between the tackles right there. Ah, the guy just came off the edge. It should have been a first down. Totally should have been a first down. Went into the OB strike two again. There you go. So, oh, you got to hold on to that ball. Bro. Oh, come on, man. Come on. That ball was right on the money. That should have been a reception. I'm going to go ahead and go shoot, do the field goal here. Drop pass. Drop pass by my best wide receiver. Being able to go go up by three points. That was tough. That was a tough situation right there. Uh, that should have been a completion. I should have been marching the ball down the field for, for a touchdown. So I got to get another stop on defense if I actually want to have a prayer against this guy. So I took it up to the 23 right now, actually, by taking it out. It could have been uh, a better return. So he's back in the ace set. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to go into the 43 over plus. I'm going to do uh, base cover four. I'm going to go into the Tampa two. So he just keeps hitting me with that stretch play right there. And Yeldon's just breaking tackles. And I didn't even take a look at my setting up my defense, trying to go ahead and stop the stretch. I got him on the blitz right there. And he caught that in coverage? No way. Did he catch that? Nope, he didn't catch it. Come on, stop him.
God damn it! There you go, some pressure right off the edge in the mid blitz. And he went into play action, so I was able to go ahead and get him on the mid blitz. He takes off this quarterback. Good play. Really smart play right there. There you go. Drop pass right there. Hit him with the pressure off the edge. Fourth and three situation right here. I'm just going to... He's not going to kick the field goal. He's going to go for it. Ah, he hit the hole perfectly! Ah! And he got the ball into the end zone. Nice drive. I knew this was going to be the trouble right here with that with that defense. I didn't get it set up correctly. Able to go up by touchdown, but he leave me a minute and 18 seconds left to move the ball down the field. So good play by him. I knew this guy was going to be a challenge for me. I, he, I fagged him up, and nobody fell into the area that he was actually going to go ahead and take off with the ball, and that was the difference in the game right there. That was a huge play. Going forth for fourth down in several situations. Still got time. Got time. I got 18 seconds left. I can get the ball down the field. I still can go ahead and win this game. There you go, so let's hurry up. Do four verticals. Unable to get rid of the ball quick enough, but that's all right. Got three downs here to do something with it. He goes into cover four. Let's hit him with a halfback slip screen right here. See if we can go ahead and catch him sleeping. I got a fast read if it's a man uh, with Olsen. And bring an extra blocker in with strong. Come on! Come on! You gotta catch that, man! You gotta catch that. That's an aggressive catch. You gotta catch that. You're a star elite player. And he got edge pressure off there to go ahead and get the seal the victory against me. This guy was good. Uh, he took many chances on fourth downs, and I just couldn't get the defense to stop this guy, and he just beat me up at the stretch. Uh, so I've had fairly good success stopping the run with uh, with the Bears under, but this guy um, basically did a very good job of actually going ahead and stopping. All right, so um, good player. Uh, it's about time I actually fell into somebody that actually was good, uh, and he's able to go ahead and beat me. I'm going to go ahead and just take this down. Uh, he's, he's got the win. So drop passes, um, and my guys didn't fall into the right zones. He actually hit that same route. That could have been the game, a game difference. It's aggravating to lose to somebody like this that makes bad football decisions because in the second, in the first half, he should have kicked the field goal. He should have never went for it. That was actually really, really stupid of him to do that. But he's able to go ahead and pull it off by going on the fourth down situations and find the gap to be able to get the ball into the end zone. Uh, and in the hurry-up tempo, I'm just... I'm just not fast enough with my adjustments. And I, you know what? You, you could, I pray, I've been playing this game for so many years. You just, I'm not as fast.
passes other players and that's actually what kills me with setting up these defenses is that why is that's why when I do my tutorials I always show you fast blitzes to set up because if you got to do more than three sets and you deal with somebody in a hurry up offense they're gonna kill you so I I, I, I can tell you this much if you got someone that says oh I've got this six set, six setup blitz and this is the best six slice spread just throw it out it's garbage because when you run into somebody like this they're gonna shred you when they use the up temple te uh, offense and they know the reads and they know how to go ahead and find the open wide receivers but this guy's running game was really good his his uh, stretch play I had a hard time stopping he did have a good 70 yard gain right from the get-go uh, and then just went from there but you can see uh, defensive battle 59 yards 55 on my side uh, not a lot of yards on the ground yeah I had a hard time uh, moving the ball effectively against this guy but game came down to the last score. So to some of my subscribers, I do post all my games. I show you my losses, not including my victories. So I hope you guys learn from this. hope you learn from um, some of the things I did, some of the adjustments my opponents made, and some of the, the effectiveness of my plays and some of the, the ineffectiveness to it. So to my subscribers, thanks a lot for support, and until next time.